Hi boys and girls, it's time to read another story. And yeah, we're going to read another book by Frank Ash. And look, I see Bear. But the illustrator did not put Little Bird in the picture. I wonder if Little Bird is going to be in this story. I also look at the illustration and I see that Bear has his hands over his eyes. I wonder why he's doing that. Let's read the title and see if we can get a clue. Moon Game. I'm thinking, what game do you play that you cover your eyes before you play? Did I hear one of you say hide and seek? That is really smart. You do cover your eyes before you play hide and seek. But that leads me to another question. Who is hiding? Hmm. Let's open the book and find out. One day, Little Bird showed Bear a new game, hide and seek. First, he told Bear to hide and count to ten. Little Bird is in this book. Do you think you can count with me? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That was great counting. Then he went looking for Bear. Can you tell me where Bear is at? Oh, awesome. You use the word behind. You're right. Bear is behind the bushes. Oh, did I hear somebody say he's also in? Yeah, you could say he's in the bushes. That's another great idea. He's also between those trees. Great thinking. He's behind. He's between. He's in. Those are great use of those words, boys and girls. I found you, chirped little bird, when he found Bear hiding behind some bushes. Now it's your turn to find me. All day long until the sun went down, little Bear and Bird played their new game. Looks like it's Bear's turn to count and Bird's turn to hide. Oh, I don't know if you can see it, but there is a little bird right there. That night when Bear was all alone, he looked up in the sky and said to the moon, let's play hide and seek. First I'll hide and you find me. Then Bear ran as fast as he could until he came to an old tree. Climbing inside, he ducked down so the moon couldn't see him. So we could say that Bear went in the tree. He's in the tree. Bear waited for a while, then he poked his head up. When he did, the moon was right there looking down at him. Okay, said Bear, you found me. Now it's your turn to hide. Closing his eyes, Bear counted, just like as Little Bird had shown him. I wonder, Bear wants the moon to hide. How can the moon hide? Hmm. I wonder. We should probably read the book to find the answer to that question. At that moment, a gentle breeze slowly hid the moon behind a big cloud. When Bear finished counting, he set out to find the moon. First, he thought he found the moon hiding behind some rocks. If we look really close, there is a yellow dot behind the rocks. Do you think it's the moon? Oh, tell your parents why you don't think it's the moon. 
Or tell them why you do think it's the moon. It was a flower. That's not the moon. Then he thought he found the moon hiding in someone's house. Can the moon be in someone's house? No. So if it's not the moon, I wonder what it could be. No, it's yellow cheese. I don't think we have any yellow cheese in our house. Then Bear thought he found the moon hiding in a tree. He shook the tree and cried, I found you, moon. Do you think it's the moon? But Bear was mistaken. All he found was a big balloon. Then Little Bird came by to visit. Will you help me find the moon, asked Bear. Sure, I'll help, chirped Little Bird. Bear and Little Bird looked and looked, but they couldn't find the moon. Look at all the places they're looking in. They looked in a tree, in a chimney, in the trash can, and behind the house. So they went into went to the forest to ask for help. I think the moon is lost, explained Bear. Can you help find me find him? Don't worry, we'll help you, replied the animals in the forest. Together they searched and searched, but they couldn't find the moon. At last Bear sat down and sighed. The moon is lost and it's all my fault. Then Bear got an idea. He jumped up and cried. Okay, Moon, I give up. You win. What do you think is going to happen here? How is the Moon going to come out? Talk to your parents about how the Moon is going to come out. Just then the breeze began to blow. The moon came out of its hiding place. Look, chirped little bear bird, the moon wasn't lost. He was just hiding behind the big cloud. Bear was so happy he danced and danced. Frank Ash, when he drew this illustration, he definitely made the bear look happy. And he also made him look like he was dancing. His foot is up and his arms are up and he's happy. Then everyone played hide and seek. I hope you enjoyed that story. Remember, we are, always want to work on our comprehension, remembering what happened in the story. Can you remember the places that Bear and Little Bird hid? Can you remember the places that Bear and Little Bird looked for the moon? That's a great job, boys and girls. I am so proud of you. I love the way you're thinking. Well, until next time, I hope you stay safe and I so hope you stay healthy.